All right, so it's been a long time since I reviewed any restaurant. That's mainly because it gets obnoxious pretty fast, pulling out your phone for everything, and it's a lot of work. But for Leon's birthday, he chose Indian Accent, a restaurant that prides itself on inventive Indian cooking. I don't know what he's doing there. So over here, they offer either a three-course meal or a four-course meal. And the best thing is, you don't have to go in any order. Like, you can order four main courses if you want, which is really good if you're super committed to eating. We will discuss the pricing later. They started us off with some complimentary pumpkin shorba and blue cheese in a dough ball. So for appetizers, I ordered the potato sphere chaat with white pea mash while Leon ordered sweet potato shakarkandi. The potato sphere chaat tasted like lachha katori, if you know what I mean. And the sweet potato dish was like a tikki. They were both pretty tasty. And then I liked the pumpkin shorba a lot and they were so nice to give us the whole recipe. We skipped the mid-course and had two mains each instead. He ordered pepper chicken and Kerala vegetable stew while I ordered dosa with wild mushrooms. The filling of my dosa was tasty but it wasn't traditional at all. Next I had soya chop with rumali roti and the presentation was excellent. We also got some kulchas. There's the saag paneer kulcha and then there was the wild mushroom kulcha. Both pretty good. Leon ordered beef tenderloin or nihari. The best thing about my soy chop was that the, the way they presented, you could just make these cute bite-sized wraps. It was fun to make. There were like four chutneys. I enjoyed the process. And you know, the presentation makes it really convenient and comfortable to eat as well. As you can see, I'm having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> and then the birthday boy got his dessert and got to make a wish. This was makhan malai with saffron milk, aka ras malai, and you can see there's a gold leaf in there. This dish won a Michelin star in 2016. Leon loved it. For me, the texture threw me off a bit. Overall, the food was nice and inventive, but I did miss the original authentic taste. Leon loved his meal, so maybe it's a meat versus a vegetarian bias or it's more suited to western tastes. As for pricing, with taxes and tips all included, this will cost you around $120 per person. And remember, we did not have any alcohol. That would make this go into the $400, $500 range pretty fast. Overall, a very innovative take on Indian food that a lot of people will enjoy. Personally, for me as a vegetarian, this is not my top Indian spot.